Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you several popular celebrity photos such as Halsey, Phineas O'Connell, Dwayne Johnson, Gong Yu, Angelina Jolie, Kanye West, and many more, proving that the one-eyed occult elite is always there for you. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Alsi is pretty much a fixer on my videos lately, because nearly every single thing she does is tainted with occult elite symbolism. She even managed to turn her pregnancy into a weird ritual. In this Instagram post, there's a pentagram covering one eye, creating an obvious one-eye sign. The caption says, are you a good witch, or a bad witch? That's some pure cult elite nonsense. In the previous post, Halsey is depicted as a cyborg with a computer for a brain. A great way of depicting an industry slave. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one eye sign was all over mass media. This is how celebrities show submission to the occult elite. Here are some examples. Not unlike his sister Billie Eilish, Phineas has been given the proverbial spotlight, even appearing in every single elite sponsored event or cause, in this V-Man magazine picture, Phineas lets you know that he is owned. A couple of decades ago, Dwayne Johnson was known as The Rock, and he was kicking butt. Now, he's just another tool of the elite's agenda. In this Vanity Fair pic, a sad-looking Johnson does a sad-looking one-eye sign for his sad-looking fans. The sad-looking David Grohl displays a one-eye sign using strategically placed hair. That's the price to pay for being one of the only rock stars that are still somewhat relevant in mass media today. This is Gong Yu, one of the stars of Squid Game, the hit Netflix series that is filled with messages about the elite. You better believe that the stars of this series will be used by the elite. Here, Yu displays a subtle one-eye sign on the cover of Marie Claire Korea. And another one, to make sure you understand that there is nothing random about this. A couple years ago, several mega franchises released character posters, and, unsurprisingly, they're replete with a one-eye sign. Here are the posters of Star Trek Discovery. Can they be more blatant? Not really. This poster features the famous Vulcan salute hand sign, complete with a single eye strategically placed between the fingers. The Vulcan salute hand sign is symbolic in itself, as it is based on the priestly blessing performed by Jewish Kohanim. The sign represents the Hebrew letter Shin, which has three upward strokes, similar to the position of the thumb and fingers in the salute. The letter Shin here stands for El Shaddai, meaning Almighty, or God, as well as for Shekinah and Shalom. Therefore, placing an all-seeing eye into that symbol gives this movie poster a profound esoteric meaning that most will completely overlook. Here's another Star Trek poster. More one-eye focus. In case you believe that this is all a coincidence, here are eight more posters from the same series. In case you still believe this is all a coincidence, here are three posters promoting Star Wars The Force Awakens. Do you see a pattern here? The agenda is so pervasive that it absolutely needs to force itself in known franchises, completely distorting what made them popular in the first place. There's a new Chucky series, and it is specifically catered to young people. Unsurprisingly, the main story revolves around a young person who is fluid. The one eye sign on the official poster confirms that this series is compliant with the elite's agenda. 
Another franchise being ruined by the elite's agenda is Superman. DC Comics recently announced that John Kent, the son of Superman, is actual. Also, he will combat climate change, protest against the deportation of refugees, and will have a relationship with a man. To fully comply to the agenda, even the motto of Superman was altered. Instead of truth justice and the American way, it is now truth justice and a better world. In other words, patriotism is out. Globalism is in. The elite-owned magazine, The Economist, decided to use this 2011 picture of Angelina Jolie on its cover. Why? Because it is the perfect way of subtly divulging that she's owned by the elite. Also, take a look at the headline in the top right corner. This is Brian Cranston in Esquire magazine. His face says, Sorry, but I need to do this to keep making money. For years, Spacey did what it takes to be famous and relevant. On the left, Spacey did the 6661i sign as a GQ Men of the Year. On the right, a promo pic for the third season of House of Cards. This is Susan Sarandon, in the October issue of LUK. Her right hand points downward, effectively making the as above so below hand sign. This is Claire Foy in the September issue of Vogue. A creative way of hiding one eye. Domas Kluz is a popular singer in the Czech Republic. This is the pick used for his album cover. Yup. No country is exempt from the agenda. This is model Grace Chen in Vogue Singapore. This is Angela Linville in Harper's Bazaar Spain. Same model. Same magazine. Same one eye thing. I could post one-eyed pics all day, but you've probably got your fill by now. Although the recurrence of the one-eye is blatant proof of an elite-controlled industry, they enjoy making things even more blatant. Singer that poppy, inside a glass box, while her handler, Titanic Sinclair, holds her chain. That poppy's entire act is all about her being an MK slave. Annie West was recently caught walking around wearing a prosthetic mask of a white woman. Combined with the fact that he recently legally changed his name to Yee, the rapper is sending off, yet again, major MK Ultra Alter Persona vibes. In a recent performance, Yee wore a mask similar to those worn at infamous wild elite parties. The caption states that Yee actually rapped through the mask, muddling his performance. Obviously, the message of is more important than the message of his music. When he was not wearing crocs, Yi was seen sporting the ugliest haircut in human history. In reaction to this disaster, Chris Brown wrote that Yi got the punishment haircut. There is some truth in Brown's joke. Danny has been stuck in the elite's humiliation ritual ever since he got out from his forced hospitalization a few years ago. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.